It is finally the season we have all been waiting for. It is the season of the peach frappuccino. Now, if you live in Japan, you may know that the peach frappuccino is always a hit and by day two or three, many of the stores will be sold out. Today is the release date of the frappuccino, so hopefully I'll be able to get one for myself and have a taste. This year's frappuccino is called the Love and Peach Frappuccino. The drink is a peach-based frappuccino created from peach puree. At the bottom of the drink, you'll find chunks of peach expressing the sweet and aromatic flavor of both the peach pulp and skin. Finally, it is topped with whipped cream. You'll be able to enjoy a luxurious and rich flavor by mixing the cream with the fruity base. Now, if I remember correctly, in the previous years, the peach frappuccino had a special whipped cream which was made specifically for the peach frappuccino. It was a peach-based whipped cream which was a little bit sour. But this year, it looks like they just have the normal whipped cream, which I prefer. So that's another thing that I'm looking forward to. They have also released some new desserts. The white peach and earl grey cake is an earl grey mousse cake topped with white peach pulp and a refreshing jelly. They also have two new donuts, the cookies and cream donut and the old fashioned caramel donut. They have also released some new merch like bottles and tumblers. So come with baby and I to check out the new love and peach frappuccino. Let's go. So this is the peach frappuccino. Like I said before, uh, the whipped cream isn't a peach whipped cream. It is just the normal whipped cream. So let me have a taste. So yummy. Mmm. <laughs> There's lots of chunks of peach at the bottom. I'm gonna mix the whipped cream with the peach. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna finish this drink here and then I'm gonna head home. I'm in the elevator and I'm nearly home, but I just wanted to say that this last sip, where it's 50% peach and 50% cream, is the best part of the drink. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So, the love and peach frappuccino. It was very refreshing, not too sweet, but had lots and lots of chunks of the juicy peach. It's definitely going to be another hit. Now, if you watched my previous Starbucks video where I had the banana brulee frappuccino, I mentioned that I love the banana brulee so much that it could be my all time favorite, better than the peach. I have to say, I stand by my words. There is actually a huge difference between the two, other than the fact that they're different fruits, the banana brulee was an almond milk based drink which was creamy and sweet and a little on the heavier side. The peach frappuccino doesn't contain any dairy other than the whipped cream on top. It is a very icy drink and it's sort of like a gelato. I like milky based drinks so I prefer the banana brulee. If you are someone who enjoys their fruit tea or drinks that are very refreshing, you will definitely love the love and peach frappuccino. Anyway, my family is going on a four day trip from tomorrow and my baby has just entered his four month sleep regression. So things are a little bit hectic around here. So it was nice to have a little refreshing break. The Earl Grey Mousse Cake was sold out only a couple of hours after opening. So if I see that next time, I'm definitely going to get it. I hope you enjoyed my review on the newest seasonal drink from Starbucks Japan. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.